Okay, folks, this one looks pretty boring, but it also has potential despite that. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, let's see what we have have here. Okay, a shirt with um, zigzags, pinstripes. Maybe we'll do the back. The back should... Oh, the back's rumpled. I don't want it. We're just going to do the front. Back looks shit out, so I don't know why. We're just going to put the front of it down. I'm going to move it around. So, just going to move it around, folks. The back looks shit out. <laughs> taking a bit of time. Yeah, the colours in that look really nice and there's a bit of a stretch. That looks really quite interesting. We'll work with that. So we'll just get rid of this. Um, and we're going to use this. We're going to put it back on 100%. Yeah, the colours in that look nice in the patterns and they're nice and contrasty because we set the contrast at full on full setting. So I forgot to switch it to copied paper as well, but that, that's all right. It still worked, uh, still worked nicely. I'm just going to put this on the glass again. trying to get this marbled really nice with some nice uh, shapes and angles and it looks like we've got something looking really quite nice um, I'm actually thinking we could maybe stretch it drop it down uh, maybe we could get rid of the stuff at the top and just drop the rest of it down I think that might look really nice potentially but I'm really missing a partner folks and I'm trying to get this stuff to go to air on free to air TV primetime news I'm trying to get it worked get my work out there and on the news um, I do think it needs to be aired I do think wondering if maybe we could uh, cut into some of that stuff so we're just going to take this and put it up there like so but I'm really missing my partner Luigi and it's really more difficult than I thought 
to put this stuff out there it's not as easy as it looks trying to get the media to cooperate I'm trying to get the media to cooperate with my to get my stuff out there and it's proven to be really really difficult because I do need their cooperation I'm lo lo I've lost a loved one and I'm trying to get back in touch and get married I know he'll want to marry me and he really misses me uh, but it's just got to this stuff's just got to go to air otherwise it'll this reunion will never happen and I think we've made made this too big but I really miss my partner and it really hurts being out of the out of the frame out of being away from him it really hurts to be away from him I really do miss him I really miss his company I don't know how big we're gonna make this but basically it's a lonely life that I lead and loneliness is deadly I don't like it I never liked it I've always felt lonely for a large portion of my life since I was an eight-year-old sometime when I was eight I started feeling lonely and now that's looking quite nice uh, still could be better I do think uh, just trying to think that was the first one of this. This is the second one and it still doesn't look what I want it to look. Uh, but I'm really feeling away, a really alone, alone, not alone, I feel lonely. Loneliness is deadly. However much people might underestimate this, loneliness is extremely deadly. It's not as it's not as innocent as you'd think it is and it's like smoking 15 cigarettes a day and I don't like smoking and I never have smoked I've already had problems with passive smoking in the past when I which really came because of my stupidity I had I ended up with people that were passively that were causing me to passively smoke so I'm really angry at myself now this is too small and that's too small but at least we know it's too small but basically I struggle to deal with this shit and I had to passively smoke because I did some stupid things and I ended up with other which would have which would contribute potentially to me having an early death now that looks a lot more interesting I do think but I really get lonely and the loneliness really does has taken its toll on me and it's really difficult trying to <coughs> win back time that you've lost I hate it when that does that with that screen it's really annoying but basically I'm really lonely and I just hope the passive smoking hasn't made hasn't contributed significantly to death because I'm not ready to die. I want to live a long life, not because I'm afraid of death. I'm not afraid of death, folks. Fortunately, really glad I'm not afraid of death, but I'm not ready to go because I have work to do in my life. I've got things that need to be done that haven't been done. And I really need the time, I need the time to, to do my work, to do what I feel 
I need to do to make the world a better place. So I'm not ready to pop off yet, but I'm not afraid, which is really good. I'm glad I'm not afraid anymore. I used to be. It was the fear of death that triggered all this mayhem in my life. It was the fear of death, that fear that so many people have, have, have to deal with. And I'm so glad I don't have it anymore. So I am free. Strictly speaking, I am free. Free to be, to not worry about death. So I've got to be grateful in that respect, folks. So I have found hope that, I, that I'm going to a better place when I die. But I know a lot of people haven't. And that's one of the things I want to do in my life while I'm still alive is to teach people uh, how to overcome this fear, how to overcome the fear of death, which is indeed a scourge. And I've experienced it for a very long time. It's been less than 10 years since I've been free of it. But I'm indeed free and I want... I haven't shared this with you folks, I don't think. I might have el earlier, but I haven't shared it lately, uh, that I am free uh, to not worry about death. Uh, but I feel for other people who haven't found this hope. I feel for other people who are still trapped, who still fear, who don't have hope. And I've got to live to give this hope to the world. Otherwise, people will, it'll be really tragic. And people just live for the here and now and they, they don't think for other people and they just think they've got to burn the candle at both ends and then do what they want to do and then they're fearing they're going to go and they have these things called bucket lists, which... And I, you could say I've got a bucket list, but it's things that I need to do to help others as well as myself. It's not just about me. It's got to be about others as much as it's about me. And I need to find Luigi to make this all happen. So I have to find Luigi. And that's what, that's what separated us in the first place, my fear of death. That's what separated us. So we're going to try our best to present these demos and I think this one's a good one so far even if I say so myself I do this is quite an interesting pattern yeah interesting I'm trying to decide if I actually like it uh, I think it's quite nice I think now we can call this demo quits